So I prepared a whole year. I took the armor off, so I took a whole year off, give my body enough time to rest. And um, came here two months ago just to make sure I get climatized to the uh, U.S. weather and everything, because this is different weather. It's really tropical and dark. And trained with Charles Glass and Goldstein Wins and went back to train with Charles. Something I did in 98 when I prepared for the uh, USA Championships, too. All right, guys, Mikey here for Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I might have found the best Dennis James video I have ever seen in my life. It's Dennis the Menace at the 2003 Mr. Olympia at the night show. And I tell you, what a fucking performance he put on. He placed fourth here. He should have placed third. Dexter Jackson placed third. But if Dennis came into prejudging looking like this and then came into the night show even better, Dennis would have beat Dexter Jackson because nobody was beating Ronnie Coleman or Jay Cutler in 2003. But look at the back development on Dennis James, guys. Look at the rear double bicep. It's unbelievable. His rear lat spread is up there with some of the best rear lat spreads I've ever seen. It comes very wide on top. And then as you come down the back, it gets very tapered. Look at it. That's what you call a perfect fucking V taper. And then his traps pop. And that just makes it look so much better. Plus, he's got great hams and glutes. That just tops the pose off. Then he turns around, and he's got a super, super tight midsection, which he never had after 2003. Because after 2003, he tried to get way too big, because he's five foot eight, 258 pounds here, 255, somewhere around there. But then, after 2003, he tried getting up to 265, and then by 2005, 2006, he was up to like 270 something pounds. His midsection got blown out, plus he was using synthol, so his physique just fell apart. But from 1999 to 2003, because in 1999, he became a pro. That's when he got his pro card and he made his pro debut. So from 1999 to 2003, very good years for uh, Dennis James, even though he took the whole year off in 2002. But I think that did him, you know, wonders because look at what he looks like. I mean, he took the year off in 2002 and then came back in 2003 and looked like this. I mean, look at this physique, guys. I mean, this is up there with some of the best physiques I've ever seen, like I said earlier on in the video. And he should have really beat Dexter Jackson for third place. Now, if you guys think about it, take Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler out of the equation. And you could really say Dennis the Menace placed uh, second because nobody was beating Jay Cutler and nobody was beating Ronnie Coleman at 286 pounds ripped on stage. Jay Cutler, 265 pounds ripped on stage. But the thing about Jay Cutler and why I say I think Dennis is a little bit better because I think Dennis's physique flowed a little bit better than Jay's. After 2002, Jay Cutler's upper body over always overpowered his lower body. Even though his legs were always really big, his upper body was just very blocky and just was a little bit bigger than his legs, so it threw his physique off. And that's why I think I would go with Dennis the Menace, but I digress. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you agree with me or not. Mikey's Iron Rage! Peace out, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video.